Take a couple of good long, deep in and out breaths. Notice where you feel it. If it feels good, keep it up. If it doesn't feel good, you can change. This is an important principle. You've got to find a sense of well-being here in the present moment, otherwise the mind is going to go running off. And when it runs off, it can't see what's actually happening right here. So take some time to be really, really sensitive. This is what ardency means when you're with the breath. Being very, very sensitive to how it feels. And noticing how you can make a little change here, a little change there, and make it better. Because we're doing this for the sake of insight. But the mind's not going to gain any insight if it's not in a good mood. If it's feeling weighed down, if it's feeling stressed out, then it's certainly not going to look at its own bad habits. And that's what a lot of what inside is, is the, the way the mind has been carrying something around it doesn't need to do. Weighing itself down in ways it doesn't need to be weighed down. And then when it's weighed down like this, you feel overwhelmed by events. And it's very hard to respond in a skillful way, even to little things outside, much less to gaining insights inside. So try to do your best to put the mind in a good mood. And John Sawat would often say that at the very beginning of the meditation, try to put yourself in a good mood. Think in ways that help you settle down. If the breath isn't enough, then think about goodwill, think about your virtue, think about your generosity. Anything that puts the mind in a good frame of mind. What's willing to do the necessary work and willing to admit the insights, the truth of the insights that come up. So this is one way of being good to yourself that really is being good to yourself. All too often we think about, when we hear that saying, be good to yourself, it means buy some more Dove chocolates. But that's not, what it means. that's not really being good to yourself at all. Being good to yourself is putting yourself in a good mood so that you can do some important work. There's always work to be done. Some people find that when the mind settles down, they just hit a little sense of well-being and they're, as John Fung used to say, they, they let go of their hands, they let go of their feet. than just wallow in it. Well, that doesn't accomplish anything either. We get the mind in a good mood because it has work it has to do. We get it comfortable so it can do its work comfortably. And when it's comfortable, when things come up, insights arise, even about things you don't like to see about yourself but you're willing to admit them, oh yes, there is that habit in the mind. And I do have this alternative. This is really being good to yourself both on the immediate level of pleasure right now and on the level of digging out the mind's bad habits. So it means good to yourself both now and on into the future.